Today I'm going to show you how to make your rocket go from this to something more like this or this. I'm by no means a good builder or detailer, but I've been asked many times over the years to build a guide on showing you how to make detail on your rockets, so I thought I'd make a quick guide on how to detail your rockets. Now before we start, I'd just like to say I'm using a few mods here, which are really just making the process a little bit easier. If you're on mobile, then you're about to use these, but you should be able to do every single thing that I do in this video without the mods. So as you can see here, I have a very basic rocket design, and it is just two stages with a fairing. There's nothing in the fairing right now and two engines the engine type doesn't matter we're not talking about performance or anything to do with engines today not the plumes nothing like that i've already done a video on that a long time ago the first thing you'll notice with this rocket which is going to be the first tip and by the way most of these tips are coming from the guide by card z although i already did these before the guide came out just pointing that out the guide is a very very useful tool for designing rockets if you haven't looked there before watching this video then I will be astounded honestly. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can go and check it out. The first tip is going to be what we're doing right here. As you can see there is a split between these tanks and that's because one of these tanks is Kerolox and one of these tanks is oxygen. Actually that's the wrong way around. What is happening here is we're putting a split in the middle here with this color right here and what that does is it adds detail to, I mean, more uniqueness to the outside of the rockets um, with how it looks. And you can obviously see where each tank is, not that it matters in game. How I usually do this is with a um, inlet, I believe this is. Yep, you can do this with a tank. In fact, it's probably recommended you do it with a tank, but I always do it with an inlet. Um, so I use an inlet and I do have a belief fuel line on it because you need that to have the fuel transfer between the tanks. So if you are using an inlet, make sure you have fuel line turned on right here and so yeah this is to visually change how the rocket looks on the outside so that you get more detail along the whole surface of the tank because the tank is obviously going to be the least detailed part of the rocket i also put them on the end caps of each tank like this between the interstage and the tank and between the fairing and the uh, tank there as well just to really give it a lot more detail and just have more rings showing so the next tip actually relates to these rings and that is we are going to have to add some more depth to this rocket because it does not have enough depth in my opinion and this is something i always do because i think it looks great um to give it a bit more depth um, you can really see how this adds a lot more depth to the tank especially when looking at it from certain angles it really really improves it next is potentially a very obvious tip but a very important underrated and underutilized tip this is textures and specifically how we use textures. They are very versatile if you mess around with the settings. With this one, we are looking for this texture, I believe. What we are going to do is we are going to basically just mess around with this uh, until we get a nice texture like this. So we are just going to uh, copy this onto every one. And next we are going to use a brick texture on the main body to make it look somewhat like it is um, foam bricks. If we type in 1010, that looks good to me. Um, so we are just going to put tiles on all of the rest of the tanks. Now, I usually leave the fairing out because I don't think it looks very good with a texture on it. But if you think that you can make it look good, then obviously feel free to try. I should also mention this as a tip. With the paint on these, we have the detail set to 20%. And that's because if you obviously have it way too high, it's just going to look so, so bad. This is tip is really important, is making sure your detail amount is perfectly balanced. And yeah, it should look much better. The next tip is one I've already done on this craft. It's very simple. That is color the inside of your engine bays this can either be something like putting a silver insulation look or some other thing like I've done here with this kind of brown maroon color I guess this is I would recommend a very different color to this in fact if I were to do this again this is an old craft I would make this much more lighter and kind of I guess more like this color like desaturated but yeah like pastel or desaturated colors are gonna look great for this um, whilst we're in the engine bay we might as well talk about detailing in the engine bay very simple things I like to do is throw on some of these guys normally I will just grab a strut if I need to and throw it on the end and then we're going to increase the size and um, then yeah you can have the you know 
one of repellent or i mean you can't actually put fuel in these if you want to put fuel in them you need to use the hemispheres um and then make your own ball with it but just for decorations purposes these look really good what obviously i've done them very crudely here i guess this is another tip as well is having a dome in your engine bay here always looks pretty nice so it's literally just an up, upside down dome the engine is not attached to the dome it's attached to the fuel tank above and uh, then we have a inlet here as a bit of a skirt for the second stage and the cool thing about the skirt is you can if you want to you can hide rcs in the inside and you can easily decorate the walls of it um, same with the fairing here when i'm using when i have reusable rockets and i want to have parachutes always put them inside of here and have them as an aesthetic thing as well as a functional thing that's another one. The next thing is going to be more detail on the outside of the rocket. This can come in the form of many things such as RCS pods, fuel transfer lines, fins, sensors even, or even just general detail. And I guess whilst I'm here, another tip actually before I, because I just thought about this and I should have mentioned it really, uh, fuel tank stacking. I have talked about this before a long time ago, but this is a really cool little thing we can do where if we change the texture on this to insulation, for example, and then we will um, basically just copy the coordinates. Actually, we need to make it slightly bigger just so it shows up correctly. And then we will just grab the coordinate, keep grabbing the coordinates, pasting them in here here and this will basically stack the texture and if you turn the the transparency down a bit and also this thing is still too big then you get this really cool um like mixed texture so yeah i would highly recommend uh trying this out it's and it can work with colors as well if you do it right if we make it white then it's gonna look a lot better yeah you can see how this looks more de way more detailed than this so that's another little tip whilst we are talking about uh, rockets detail one i really like to do with my rockets is adding cameras onto the side of the rocket like you sometimes see with real rockets and i think i actually have a, a sub assembly for this camera mounts here we go so this is my camera mount it's very simple it is literally just a camera inside a fuel tank and another fuel tank and what i do is i grab this fuel tank and i move the fuel tank inside the rocket like this um, you can turn off the camera if you want but i usually keep it on and this is one of the small mounts so you can't really see it on this rocket super well but this is just a small bit of detail as well as functionality if you want to have those cinematic things with your camera you can throw that on the side. I throw a bunch of them on the side usually. Another one I love to do when I have specifically electric engines, but I still do it even without the electric engine sometimes, is um, throwing batteries on the outside of your rocket. If you've ever watched a Rocket Lab launch with Electron, I believe, they drop the batteries off the side of the rocket at one point so that they are not weighing the rocket down when they are um, empty. And so what I do is I do this. I throw on one of these battery packs that nobody ever uses really and I just make sure it's going to look nice on here but yeah look that's an extra bit of detail I always add this on the top and the bottom of the rings of the rocket. Um, another little tip for detailing is using solar panels. Now obviously these are all uh, expensive if you're playing um, career mode but I like to use these. What I do is I will I paint, paint all of it and turn the detail off and it becomes literally just a small black panel and uh, you can use this to just add li random li little blocks of detail to your craft and uh, yeah that's just another little bit of detail. I don't recommend always using this though it's really good on um, spacecrafts but not so good on rockets I would say. Next up is a very obvious one again is fins. Um, what you can do is just throw these on the side make them you can have them as actually being functional as well if you wanted but I like them for aesthetic purposes as well like throwing them down like this. They do sometimes affect your performance negatively if you are not careful with how big you make them they might stop your rocket from turning very well i've had that happen before kind of sucks can work especially if you have them small like this um, just some small bits of detail there oh another one i really like to do is having solid rocket motors for separation so we have the meridian separation motors so what i do with these is they are for staging so i wouldn't actually throw them on this stage unless i put them reverse but i throw these on the second stages of the rocket like this then i rotate them inward so they're not firing into the rocket's body because that is something you have to be aware of push this inside and maybe just angle it out a bit more and uh yeah then you have this cute 
little bit of detail and um, it also is functional for pushing your stages away so you can turn off the interstage and with all these different ways to detail a rocket this should be enough to help you the last one i'm going to go through which is very very simple but it is super effective is adding pipes to your rocket there's two ways to do this and i use both on my rockets that is doing this method which is literally we are going to take this pipe we are going to paint it black and we are just going to throw this straight into the side of the rocket and it's just like a nice little pipe running up the side of the rocket and the other way I do this I will show you on a different rocket and that is this fuel transfer pipe right here uh, so basically all it is is a bunch of fuel tanks stacked on top of each other and once you make this first length here you can then take these two parts you can then group them together like this and then you can literally just build your pipe like this super easily and yeah I think that's really all I have for detail oh the other thing is of course um, if you have hydrogen tanks or any of those tanks that are have like spray on uh, foam like similar to the SLS rocket then definitely try painting them orange in this case like this my first stage is Keralox my second stage is uh, hydrogen and I think that looks really cool I recommend using pastel colors again or desaturated colors for this kind of work um, it goes the same with like the the blue delta and desaturated red as well that's the kind of look you want for it um, so yeah hopefully some of these simple tips helps you out and hopefully if I ever get asked again I can just guide people to this video and hopefully it will help them so let me know if this does help you if you learn anything new. So with that, I'd like to thank our members, Carnassa, Edu2089, Astroforge Starbase, John Plays Too Much, Pedro, Adam Cat, William Brinkman, and Colin F9D for supporting the channel as always. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.